Hello and thank you for joining me on the stars and astrology for the week ahead. Now the biggie that people are talking about is um, Mercury retrograde. Now we have Mercury retrograde in Capricorn, we have the Sun in Capricorn, okay. Now Capricorn's energy is what we're, we're vibing right now, doubly if you are a Capricorn or an Earth sign. Capricorn's energy is about getting organised. How many of us think, right, I want to get organised now, I want to get on it, I want it, especially with your finances, any area that makes you feel secure. Now, most New Year's, most people say, right, we're going to go through our direct debit list, we're going to get rid of this, we're going to get rid of that, we're going, to, we're going to save up, we're going to have a Christmas club, we're not going to get the stresses that we had last year. That's all down to Capricorn energy. So you'll find that this repeats itself every single year. But it is excellent for getting organised, getting your to-do list done and tying up those loose ends. Capricorn, we're coming to um, the end of the year, going into the new year with both that sun sign energy there. So we take a bit of the old into the new. But from it, we realise what we want to hold on to and what we want to let go. Now, Capricorns are very stubborn and they tend to think they are always right. So be mindful of your own energy. Don't be too stubborn this week or this month. Try not to be to um, hit on something you're going your way. It's really important to be flexible and really important to be adaptable, okay? Now, we're in some very good energy to do with goals and reaching our goals. 2023 is gonna be slightly easier than 2022 in lots of ways. It brings a seven in numerology number, which is a lucky number. I can do another post on that if you want. Just ask Richard. Um, but on the um, Chinese New Year, we'll talk about that maybe then. But anyway, so it, we're coming into a luckier year. Now, astrology-wise, we have... Um, we have Pluto going into Aquarius and then going back into Capricorn and then going back into Aquarius this year. Now that helps with this Capricorn energy now to get organized, to get focused. Because if we can get organized now and get focused now, when things start to liberate as we move into the year, when things start to progress and we start to break free from control and we start to break free from all these rules and regulations, we would already have had our stuff in order. So it's important to get your stuff in order now, particularly your home, your finances, your business, anything that has a secure connection to it. Could be your relationships, if you rely on relationships for security there. Might be yourself, getting yourself in order. And this will really help if you know your chart because you can look at where Capricorn sits and where Saturn sits and where um, Pluto sits, what house it sits in, okay? That will be really important if you know your astrology charts, then you can see the area that's gonna be of most influence. But don't worry if you're not, we're all gonna be feeling this. So get organized now. Now Mercury in retrograde, okay, now it's in Capricorn. So we go back over our stuff when it's retrograde. Retrograde, everyone kind of says, oh no, Mercury retrograde, let's blame everything on that. I love Mercury retrograde, I love it. Because it gives us a chance to go back over things. It gives us a chance to check in before we're ready to take flight. That's what Mercury retrograde is, a second chance to make sure everything is tickety-boo, okay? So if you're working on projects, this time is great to go back over things. Make sure that everything is how it should be. Check for spelling mistakes. Mercury connects to communication. I'm terrible at that. So I never do that. And I, Well, I always do it, but there's always more. But anyway, that's mine. That's me. Get someone else to check it. But Mercury Retrograde gives you the chance to check over technology, check over communication. It also can mean that things can get mis mixed up, communication can get mixed up. So you need to be super careful with your words, with texts and with emails. Be careful that you don't lose emails. I did an online reading for someone last week and then I, I don't know what I did. I completely lost the whole lot. So I had to redo the whole lot again. Um, so back things up, be super careful. That's what Mercury Retrograde Energy is about. But it gives us a second chance to go and check things. This isn't the time to start new things. This isn't the time to get involved in gossip or drama because things will get twisted and out of turn. This isn't the time to be signing new contracts or starting a new job, I'm afraid. Um, if you are, and if you have got to do that and you're moving house, then make sure that you double, double, triple check every single thing, that you back up everything there. It's no surprise that we've got postal strikes in Mercury Retrograde, even though we would have had that in direct as well. But now they should be really, it will be really causing a pain in the bum as will uh, any form of communication. Time is running out, I'm checking in that. So use this time to go back over things, use this time to get yourself in order, to get yourself checked, to get make yourself feel secure, to take charge of things, and to get wherever your ideas and ideals are, 
to get on top of that.